It's like, imagine like the beefed up version of Love Island Games. The challenges are way harder. Uh -huh. And it's just way more like political in the sense that like you got to like have alliances and shit. Like you talking, you're talking behind people's backs and it's like very obvious. Like on Love Island Games, you're not talking like, you're not talking like behind people's back intentionally, but you in, in the challenge, bro, say me and you were here like talking in the room. Uh -huh. talking and then someone will walk in and be like <laughs> you'll be like yeah we wasn't talking that shit what you mean <laughs> and, they, and they'll know they'll know like it's not like there's no secret it's just like yo you can't be in on certain conversations because it's like they're clearly in an alliance they're clear there's secret alliances and shit it's, it's really strategic but that's fucked so like that's what i didn't like about games right so that's what i actually valued you for you and uh column because Bro, you guys literally were rocking solo dolo from the get go. Like there, there was no help. It was just you guys doing your own thing. They didn't show that. And a lot of people. What happened? I said they didn't show that on the show though. They don't show that shit, bro. So I'm like, damn. So when you explained that to me, I was like, you really had to thug it out by yourself. And the results of the final challenge, dog. Scamming. You saw it. <laughs> I saw what you sent me, bro. I would be. I would throw a whole ass fit. I would throw a whole fit. I can't, bro. I can't. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, have you seen Perfect Match? Perfect Match is tough, yeah. But the thing is, with Perfect Match, it's like... They don't bring Love Island people on there. Netflix shows. Yeah. But Netflix, oh, Netflix is where it's at, bro. OD, bro. Would you do, like, would you do Too Hot to Handle type shit? Nah, bro. Mm -hmm. Too Hot to Handle is kind of like... It's going down? Not. Yeah, I just kissed somebody. Bro, that's what I thought was crazy, cause like, <laughs> yeah, that's just like that's just like in my past, right? But I'm watching the show, bro, and I'm watching you. I'm watching like I'm looking at Twitter. I'm looking at your comments, bro. And I'm like, they're out here talking to bro, like he did what I did times seven. Right. And I'm like, he was just kissing her. I mean, granted, the way it's portrayed is crazy, but I was like, he's just kissing girls and didn't even come close to like this shit that I was doing. I was like, that's actually fucked. And I felt bad because I was like, yo, like, I was like, for what? In three weeks of challenges? Like. Hey, look, I promise you guys, someone said everyone would hate Johnny if I went on Squid Games. I promise you, you guys, you're, you're deceived because on these shows, right? What you guys are seeing, what you, what you guys are showing is that you guys would hate Johnny. But in real life, the people would fuck with your boy. They will oh, fuck with me. I promise you. <laughs> Behind closed doors, I promise you, everybody would be like, yo, Johnny's that guy. I promise you. Right. Bro, I don't even know who bro is for real. And you explained to me, I was like, wow, would I do games? Stay I tuned. Mean, bro, the perfect example, the perfect example is the fact that at the end, when everyone came back and voted for me, because in real life, people fuck with me on TV. <laughs> Then it's it didn't like, make sense to the people. Like the people are watching, they're like, huh, people were talking all this shit, but they came back and voted for him. Why? And then you explained the whole thing and I was like, wow. Like oh, that actually, actually makes way more sense. Why is it taking out so long to post it? Oh, I don't I don't do the editing. I just talk the same the same thing that you do. I talk and Elizabeth handles like the editing part with like her HR team or whatever. And then that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm like I'm seeing all the other ones drop, and I'm like, damn. I mean, the show ended like six weeks ago, like, six weeks ago bro. and then the other ones come out like this. That's what I'm saying. I guess this one just has some heat to it. No, OD. I was like, I was thinking this right before class today. I was like, yo, how come we haven't done the podcast on it? Because it'll be the biggest one we've done so far. Because like, you, no bullshit, you were the main character. So I was like, hold on, if bro shit isn't out there and it explains the whole thing, then I'm like, come on, yo. Um, because it's two in the morning. Oh wait, what time is it in LA? Eleven forty. So it's two forty-two. Yeah, two forty. Bro, bro, go ahead and get some sleep, bro. I'm not trying to keep you up, man. Bro, G, bro, listen. If you're doing anything tomorrow, let me know. Um, I'm gonna actually text you about the shit I got going on, and then if you have any insight on that, then just let me know. But um, I'll meet you tomorrow, bro. I already bro. know. I'll see you soon, bro. Good night, chat. Good night, everybody. Safety.